to make my version of onion soup, not the classic uh, French version of onion soup. This is completely vegetarian. The uh, French version is made with uh, beef stock. And this also has other ingredients other than onions in it. Uh, I'll add barley. I'm adding onion peelings too, but looks like yeah. I'll add barley and uh, mushrooms to it as well. And I'll use a vegetable stock and I've got you caught up in the... What I'm doing now is just sweating these down, well more than sweating them down actually, they'll uh, be caramelized. Which adds color and a lot of flavor to the soup. It's time to season them. And once they get going, I will turn the heat down quite a bit. This takes a fair amount of time, probably 20 minutes or more, by the time I get them down to the consistency that I want, anyway. I'm still using my own onions from last year's garden. But they are starting to sprout. There was a couple of these that the sprout had come out on. And most of them, I'll save this one out to show you, most of them have the sprout inside that's, you know, pretty soon going to come out the top. They're still quite firm and nice, but I'm trying to use up as many of them as possible before they spoil on me. I could dehydrate them, but I don't know. I don't think I would use them after I dehydrated them, so I've probably got about a third of my onions from last year still in the basement. I wish I had quite so much onion peel when I was slicing these. Um, I don't know, if, if it does get to the point where I think they're getting too soft, they may make large batches of soup and freeze it or something, but this uses up a lot of onions. I, I, once again, with this, with this recipe, there won't be any accurate measurements, and I think, as you can see, it's just a soup. You put in it what you like to put in it. I didn't weigh, but this is probably a couple of pounds or more of onions. I'll bring you back once they have reduced in size and started to caramelize. Now, these have been sautéing or whatever for somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes and they're starting to show some color. And they have, as you can see, reduced quite a bit. I don't know if I said at the beginning or not, but I'm, I'm frying them in olive oil. I will transfer these to the stock pot and come back in a moment with the uh, mushrooms. I'll just leave the bits that are on the bottom of the pan there, I guess. I'm going to deglaze in a moment with the, this vegetable stock that I'm using. But, oops. I shook you around again. These are cremini mushrooms, and I, as you can see, just cut them up chunky if they were relatively small, I cut them in half, and if they were larger, I quartered them. I won't cook them through and through, but I want to uh, get them started before I put them in the soup. I think this would be a good time to add the hot pepper flakes, which of course are optional. That was a heaping half teaspoon of my own uh, dried Thai chilies. Adding them to the hot pan seems to help release a lot of the flavor and the heat. A half teaspoon of them in this soup though won't make it terribly hot and just give it a little, a little bit of a zip. You're probably going to get steamed up. I'm just about to add the broth. And you can, that can be red or not. Oops, I'm dumping it on the stove. But anyway, this is a broth that I get at uh, Costco. It's vegetarian. 
and it's organic and it's low sodium and I like it so that's not quite a liter container it's 946 milliliters which seems a strange amount so I think that probably means that it was made in the United States and that's I don't know 946 milliliters is the equivalent of a quart or or what but uh, it's a little less than a liter I'll use at least one of those and I, I don't know I may use a second one anyway I'll get these over in the stock pot with the mushrooms and come back when it's time to add the barley and there's almost all of the ingredients I guess added I just used the one container of stock it seemed to be enough if the barley does thicken it a bit I'll thin it probably with I don't know maybe a little of the stock or just or just some water I haven't adjusted the flavor yet with salt and whatever so we'll see what happens at that point but I'm putting in a half cup of pearl barley which will tend to thicken it so I'm sure I'll probably have to add some more liquid before it's done but I've got to move my camera because it's going to be steamed here when this starts to come back to the boil. I'll bring it back to a boil and then I'll reduce it and simmer it for about 30 minutes and I'll see you at the table when it's time to taste this. Well it finished in about an additional 30 minutes I guess and I did add maybe oh, around two cups of just water to it. I didn't there lots of flavor there so I didn't bother opening another box of the uh, vegetable stock. I think I know I'm going to like it. It's my favorite soup, so I I hope you'll give it a try. Mm. Lots of onion flavor mushroom was nice and it also uh, has just a bit of a kick from the hot chili flakes as you can see it's, it's a soup that you could uh, do whatever you want to do with you could make it with uh, beef stock or whatever if you want to use a beef stock you wouldn't have to add the the mushrooms or the barley and you certainly wouldn't have to add the pepper flakes if you didn't want to but. hitting the spot quite nicely on a cold winter's day anyway. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll give this a try.